So, for today's content, meron mga pinadala sa akin na questions. And ang naisip pong title nito is Forbidden Questions with Maui Taylor. Yeah, forbidden questions daw. Ayan, just ko. Unang question pa lang, napakahirap na. <laughs> Ayan. So, how's everyone doing? I hope you guys are all okay. Ako, nandito pa rin ako sa aming quarantine hotel. And alam nyo naman, ang bagong IATF rules ngayon ay kailangan 10 days ka mag-quarantine bago ka mag-shoot ng isang pelikula or isang teleserye. So, I think this is my fifth day. Ayan, I have five more days to go. And today is Sunday. So, sabi ko, today, magkocontent talaga ako. <laughs> Welcome to my room! Yan, so I am here in Edza Shangri-La and this is going to be my room for the next seven days. <laughs> so clap, hindi ako pwede lumabas. Yes, for the next seven days kasi dito yung quarantine hotel namin and it's a protocol. It's the new protocol. Kung dati five days lang ang quarantine, ngayon seven days na just to make sure na wala talagang positive sa mga artists, sa mga staff, sa crew, sa directors. Just to make sure na walang positive sa COVID. So, I'll give you a room tour. So, here's a quick room tour. So, this is my workstation. And so, I have two books, I have boggle to play alone, of course, my phone, my laptop, my script, uh, gadgets more. Um, here's my little table. There. So, ready na ako for lunch. Tina natin mami ako na yung pinadala nila. Here's my side table. Of course, the bed. The big bed that I will be sleeping in alone. It's bad, guys. Sanay naman ako magisa. And of course, I have my Bath and Body Works Cranberry Peach candle. I have to have candles. And then, syempre, I have my Usana Vitamin C and Hepacil for the liver. And I have my collagen. I have my Mosbu. Uh, masks. And um, essence mask. And this is my Maleta. So stuffs I've put in here, kind of settled na rin dito sa banyo. Yan. So I have my stuffs there. There. Yan. And then maybe later, I'll do a bubble bath. Yan. So this is my home for the next seven days. For the first few days, I tried. I insert natin dito kani mga pinaggawa ko. Shampoo na workout ako. Glinis ako ng banyo. Inayos ko yung kwarto. Kilala niyo naman ako. Isa ako malaking OC, de ba? Ocing OC ako na tao. So kung every day talaga I clean my room. Okay, so for today's content, meron mga pinadala sa akin na questions. And ang naisip pong title nito is Forbidden Questions with Maui Taylor. Yeah, forbidden questions daw. <laughs> Ayan. Sige, tignan natin kung masasagot ba natin lahat ng ito. Uh, screenshot ko lang to, sinend lang sa akin. So, wala pa akong binabasa sa lahat ng questions na to. Promise. Okay? So, I hope you're gonna like this content. And syempre, bago ako magpatuloy, uh, kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe sa akin, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Ayan. And hit on the notification bell para updated kayo kung mayroon akong bagong vlog. Alright? So, for my first question. Okay. Did you ever once sleep on the middle of the road at night just for fun? What? Wala akong maalalang natulog ako sa gitna ng kalye. <laughs> I don't think gagawin ko yon Pero ang ginawa ko ay um, nung bagong bukas ang uh, SC Tex at papunta kami ng Subic dahil birthday ko yon I decided to have a yacht party that year. I went in the middle of the road to have a picture. During that time kasi wala pong masyadong dumadaan and again, kakabukas nga lang nung SC Tex. So, that's as 
far as I went. Kasi parang medyo delikado yun. <laughs> parang nakikita ko yung ganitong question. Parang sa ibang bansa lang siya nangyayari. Alright, question number three. Did you ever get the chance to save somebody's life but you didn't because you had something very important? You can't just get up and leave all of a sudden. Hmm. Teka. Wala akong maisip na nagkaroon ako ng chance to save someone's life and nabisi ako. Ah, uh, let's just say that it would be more of I saved someone's life in terms of that person was actually trying to tag boom boom <laughs> himself. Kumbaga, I was there as a friend. Kinausap ko siya. Sabi ko sa kanya, pag ginawa mo yan, masasayang lang buhay mo. Masaya ang buhay, masarap ang buhay. Yes, minsan mahirap, pero it's better to be living here on earth rather than, you know, being a soul that looks down on everyone and probably, I, I don't know how souls are, but mali ba natin? Baka meron sila mga pagsisisi in their human life, alam mo yun? Eh, na nga, rather than them looking at what's going on, di ba? Yes, yes, yes. Grabe, ang serious ng mga tanong natin. Okay. Have you ever ran away from home? Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, isa itong illegal? Oo, no? Hindi illegal drugs. Kung hindi illegal na relationship. At nung time na yun, nabaliw ako. In love na in love ako. My gosh. As in, my gosh. Feel na feel ko talaga na lumaya sa bahay. Hindi naman ako nag sa balutan, no? Pero sabi ko nga nun, pwede naman akong bumili ng damit. So, <laughs> yes, nagawa ko yun for love. Love and lust. Charot. <laughs> lust daw. Yes, I did that all for love. And alam nyo, nung kabataan ko, sobrang grabe ako in love As in, I would move heaven and earth just to be with that person that I am in love with. But then again, things change. I am uh, more mature now. So, never mind. Let's go on to the next question. Have you ever tried protesting in the streets? Ah, no, no, never. Never ko ding naisip na sumali sa mga street protests or yung mga rally na ganyan. Nagprotesta ako sa bahay. <laughs> Nung kabataan ko, pero sa kali, nope, never. Okay, number six. Have you ever tried getting lost in the market, mall, or other places? Um, I got lost in, ano, I got lost in Milan a few years back kasi I was gonna go to Bologna and kasi may culinary class ako dun. So, naligaw ako sa train station kasi ang Milan train station sobrang laki. Tapos dahil sa sobrang daming travelers from other countries na nagta-transit dun, nawala ako. Ah, uh, hindi naman ako na-late dun sa train ko, I rode the train on time. Pero, ang tagal kong nawala na nakailang pa ulit-ulit na akong tanong, hindi ko pa rin maitindihan kung saan ako pupunta. Ayan, may video pa nga ako. Na. Okay, next question. Have you ever felt like committing suicide? Hmm, yes. I have to admit, yes, I have. Um, a lot of times, nung bata pa ako. Kasi, alam nyo yung, ano ko ba, parang, Nung kabataan ko, sobrang ano ko, sobrang I felt like giving up all the time. Uh, little things would wear me out. Lalo na nung time na na-launch ako, pag may nakita akong hindi magandang news about me, and alam ko naman na hindi totoo. I really feel down, you know, I really feel bad. Kasi parang feeling ko, people are putting a stain on my reputation, which they don't really know who I am. Alam niyo yan. Kumbaga... Di naman nila ako kilale for them to be saying these things, diba? So, um, that really put a big weight on my shoulders. But then again, kagaya nga ng sinabi ko kanina, it's, it's nice to live, you know, it's nice to, to witness another day, to live, to breathe. And I actually regret that day na naisip ko yun, na parang I just wanted to give up. Kasi if I did, I wouldn't be enjoying life the way I'm enjoying it now. I wouldn't be able to enjoy motherhood. Diba, hindi ko may experience yung nagkaanak ko and all that. So, yes, I did try. I mean, I, I thought of it, pero... Sorry, not try. I thought of it, pero it's a good thing na hindi ako ganun ka, no? Hindi ako ganun karupo. Para gawin siya talaga. Okay. Did you ever have friends that were actually not true? Only befriending you because you have something they wanted out of you, like money and or your intelligence. Then once what they got, what they wanted, they ditched you. Um, oh, nagkaroon na ako ng ganyang friends. Yung mga tipong nakikiride lang sa'yo kasi damgang pera, nalilibre ka. Feeling ko naman lahat naman ata dadaan sa ganyan. 
As for ditching, may ibang ng ditch. May ibang yung ng ditch sinaraan ako dun sa current. So parang nangyari, nagkanda sira-sira kaming lahat. So yeah, that happened to me na. And sa totoo lang, ano, nasad ako dun. Kasi parang, tsaka dun nag-open yung eyes ko sa reality na sa mundong ito, meron pala talagang taong gagamitin at gagamitin ka lang. Yearn. Kaya ever since then, naging careful ako. I may not have a lot of friends, but I have yung mga piling friends na alam kong hindi ako gaganunin. Alam mo, hindi ako bibigyan ng ganong klaseng treatment, hindi ako iiwanan. Unang-una na dyan, syempre, ang aking kagrupo na ang Hot Babes, ayan, through thick and thin na yung grupo na yan. So, again, I may not have a lot, but I know I've selected the best ones. There. Alright. Were you ever in a situation in which you thought you were going to die but miraculously did not? Ah, ito yung mga NDE or near-death experience. Wala, wala pa akong ganun. Though, nung munti ko matotal wreck yung isang kotse ko, kasi I was working for Viva during that time as um, marketing ng Viva International Concerts. Sa sobrang pagod ko kasi we managed the international artists. I had a glass of Jack Coke lang. Nakatulog ako, tapos nagising ako, bangga na yung kotse ko. So, yung airbag, sumabog. So, pag sumabog pala yan, may para pala powder yan sa loob. So, nung parang napagbukas yung mata ko, kala ko nasa heaven na ako. Kasi, puti lahat. Dahil nga dun sa powder ng airbag. At kasi nyo yun, talagang, talagang inasyong ko nasa heaven ako. <laughs> yan. Uh, I've experienced that, pero hindi naman ako na knock out na parang kala ko mamamatay na ako or akala ko patay na ako. Never pa naman ako nagka-NDE experience. Okay. Number 10. Have you already found your place, your purpose in this world? Karabi sa question. So serious? I think I have. The purpose is to give you guys a Leo. Yeah. The purpose is para tumangkad ng mga ka-childhood. <laughs> I think that's my purpose in life. Pangalawa, kung gusto niyo ng patawang sagot, yun na nga, ang purpose ko ay bigyan ng uh, magagandang height ang ating mga ka-childhood. So, sa mga gusto pa maging ka-childhood, pwede pa kayong humabol dahil kayang-kaya pa natin, kayong pahabulin. Okay, next, number 11. If papipiliin ka, guapo pero bobo or pangit pero matalino. Gano'n ka pangit at gano'n ka guwapo? Kasi pwedeng pangit sa paningin ng iba, pero guwapo siya sa paningin ko. Pwedeng guwapo sa paningin ng iba, pero sa akin hindi. Depende. Um, I think I will go with pangit na matalino. At least magkakaroon kami ng good conversations. And again, kagaya nga ng sinabi ko, hindi mo naman malalaman kung, pa kung para sa inyo ba pangit, pero sa akin guwapo, ba? Kasi iba-iba naman ang taste ng mga tao, eh. ba? Mm. Okay, number 12. What do you prefer? Size or performance? <laughs> Pwede performance na lang. <laughs> Kasi kung size, kung may size ka nga, di mo naman alam gamitin. O, so, paano na? Paano na? Diba? Paano na? Ang dami akong kalalang ganyan. Gusto nila yung size, pero pag na, ano na nila, pagdating ng performance, wa, wa daw talaga performance. Ayan. Okay. Kung hindi ka artista ngayon, anong profession mo? Hmm... Kung hindi ako artista ngayon, definitely pinagpatuloy ko yung maging isang child psychologist. Kasi yun talaga yung course na gusto kong kunin. It's just that na naging busy na ako sa aking career dahil na-launch ako. And yeah, I really wanted to become a psychologist to be able to understand and read what's in a child's mind. Okay. Number 13. Ma anong advice mo sa 18-year-old na Maui Taylor? 18-year-old na Maui Taylor. Okay. Basing it on all of my answers, all my experiences in life, unang-una, ang sasabihin ko sa kanya ay, wag na wag mo nang iisipin, magpamatay. <laughs> wag na wag mo nang susubukan ng mga hindi dapat subukan. Mahalin mo ang parents mo. I mean, I love my parents, you know, I always listen to my parents. But there would be time na talaga mag kami. So just listen, because... Like ako, I wouldn't be where I am if it weren't for my mom and for my dad na nakatutok sa akin. So I would always say that. So yan ang isang sasabihin ko sa 18-year-old na Maui Taylor. Pangapat, please lang, huwag ka na matutong mag-yossi. <laughs> nag kasi ako before, nag-quit lang ako. 
So yan. Be close to God. Have a have a relationship with God. Nalala ko ng mga kabataan ko, as in, I, I really wasn't going to church, hindi ako masimba, ganyan. So, have a relationship with God kasi isa siya sa mga masasandalan mo. Panglima, mag-ipon ka. Mag-ipon ka na mag-ipon kagaya ng ginawa mo ngayon. Para pag dumating ang panahon na magka-pandemic ulit, katulad nitong COVID, ay meron kang mabubunot sa iyong mga bangko. Respect and love your parents at mahalin mo ang karyer na itatahak mo. Yan! Princess, ang seryoso ng mga questions mo, ha? So ayan, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Sana nag-enjoy kayo sa vlog na to. Guys, kung meron kayong vlog suggestions, open naman po ako sa mga isa suggest ninyo. Huwag lang po yung no bra challenge. Saka sa baka mabantay sa YouTube. Huwag naman ganun. Ha? At saka, alam nyo na, iba na ang sitwasyon ngayon. So ayan. So guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Once again, kung hindi pa kayo nakasubscribe sa aking channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit on the notification bell para ma-inform kayo kapag may bago akong vlog upload. So maraming maraming salamat mga ka-childhood. Stay home, stay safe, and God bless you. Mwah! 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 Mwah!